point be like these two were uh, partly responsible for the attack on Hope Haven and uh, the are also partially responsible for the disappearance and thievery of the uh, of one of the artifacts of uh, Thalen. Hmm. Rent looks and goes, ah, I see uh, here. Uh, what's this uh, canine? It's it's a hearth hound. It's bound to this place. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Am I am I good to approach or? Oh, uh, well, here. Let me. No, I'm Lucy's going to uh, go over to this side and try and, and I'm gonna roll nature to try and distract a hearth hound. Gotcha. Go for it. I know what these creatures are. It is better that we just exercise them here and now. Ren, please destroy the hearth hearth here. Ren kind of looks uh, looks in your direction. Hearth? What's the point of destroying the hearth? To exercise the creature, no? Hmm. Red is pulling out who, her weapon. Who is this woman? Make a society check. Or a religion check. Religion is better for me. Alright, yeah, you do know her as uh, Jeanette uh, Chavote. She is one of the higher ranking P uh, Chantry officials. She's also one of the people, uh, one of the Chantry teachers that Sarah Rain is also learning under. Uh, so we can't. I can't really try and argue against her because she's like an actual teacher. Fuck. I do it anyways. Ren looks like she's about to swing at the hearth place. Just know that this will this will destroy the uh, the creature here. How's the how's the hearth hound looking? Looks very sad, very glum. It's not in a position to plead for its life, or its own life, really, because it's undead. Damn it! Lucy's just gonna like just just pet it one more time, and then turn around and look, just, or just like look at look at Red do it. Red will take her two weapons and double slice the hearth and the flames will kind of pitifully go out as the as the dog kind of attempts to lick it gets one last lick in Cephaly's face before it uh, dissipates into the ether because it doesn't say if it's like a painful process but I imagine it is like being exercised there is probably a small bit of pain that goes from its only connection to this world being severed you know so the, yeah, you hear you hear one last like whine before uh, the creature dissipates into the ether, likely being sent down the river of souls to be judged. All right, was it? Ah, tell me, was it really necessary to take down the uh, the poor dog? It is undead, no? Is it not better to exercise the creature from its master? It is no longer going to be reunited. Better to eliminate such a creature, a pest. Could you imagine it whining endlessly while it's waiting for its master? Better to destroy the beast while it still remains. Takshan Hill by his tongue, uh, and you just look towards Luff, and uh, consider, or consider for himself, if he could have used his powers to tame it. But he's not gonna say anything else. That gives a smile to you all before turning around, hair flipping around, and she too will make her way out as other guards and uh, clerics actually too join her going. I unfortunately couldn't talk her out of doing anything like that, or doing what she was doing. It's... Hyper-religious folks like that, or we'll see a, sp a spirit like the hearth out and just immediately go for an exorcism. I'm sorry, Takshan. Is that what Let's... that whimper I heard was? It's all right. You guys hear an audibly like masculine voice now. Are you 
It looks. Oh, at, uh, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a six. It's a six. Um, yes, we fought a we fought a hearth. We. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm back. <laughs> New body though. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Died 2205, brought back 2205, welcome back Ronin Redwall. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not the Ronin. Say it ain't so. Well. Uh, uh, yeah, we found a hearth hound on the inside of there and... <sighs> wasn't planning on killing it just yet. At least, the way it on my mind, we would question those two. And, I guess, send them back here, or send them back to their hound. But, I no. assume the hearthhound was the undead creature. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no, you retraced that. <laughs> you retract that accent right now. Uh, uh, I've never, I've never had to, 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 I've never had to physically like hold my tongue with my hands. <laughs> what designation are you? Number six. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this one lives forever. <laughs> I hope this one never dies. CDO six now that yeah, it was that's the the that was the undead creature on the inside, it was a hearth hound. What is good it? riddance? Such a devious creature should not be left to live. <laughs> I <Isaac> looks befuddled. <laughs> He's like uh, what? Uh. That's, I can't be a real accent, can it? <laughs> I, I feel like I must have heard I, this voice before on a, on a you tell short or something. I, I forgive me, O Six. It's gonna take me a while before you get used to this new um, voice you have. But that's one way to look at it, I suppose. Oh, please change your take time. your time. I gotta get used to the body, anyways. What sort of? body do you have this time? Well, I assume it's not an old man again. It seems to be male, as far as I know. For a quick moment, that's why she's kind of st st standing her back here. Does, 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 is she, does she want Lucy to approach her? Either it works. She's just kind of waiting okay. for a lull in the conversation. Right. Lucy is going to, again, begin to pinch the bridge of her nose and say, uh, I think the officer over there wants to speak with me. I'll, I'll be back. Good uh, luck. Good luck. Isaac will kind of kind of hunch over and kind of pet Loft to uh, try to bring some calm to her. Have him roll nature. <laughs> Actually, I would love to respond. <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, I guess he was trying to be uh, just neutral, like yeah. a cat. Yeah. Accepting the pets. He's no, he's no Ishmael, but it'll have to do. Yeah, it's it's no Ishmael. You know, funnily enough, better than what I thought I would be doing. That's good. That's good. Um, adjusting well with the with the new power you have. It's I've gotten used to it a little bit, but it's well, it's just it's still a it's it's just a it's just a lot. But no, I'm 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 taking it in stride and doing fine. She takes off her one glove and kind of with her with her bare hands is kind of like pressing her her thumb and her finger against like one strand of your hair as she's kind of like organizing it down. She goes, "You look great, and the armor looks great on you too." Oh, thank you. Yeah, Edward, uh, uh, Edward uh, did a real good job with it. Now that that's done out of the way, I have to get down to the boring stuff uh, and the annoying stuff. Um, that's okay. Lucy's going to. Uh, lean up against the wall, kind of arms crossed, looking up at Ren. <laughs> he didn't just, just, to stop with that shit. And okay, so what? Just respond to him at least like once. You just let him know how you're doing. Uh, just chat with him once. If he's overbearing, just let me know. But he's he's trying to reach out to you. But I don't want him to. Ren frowns visibly. I, look, me get, coming here to Cosby and joining and joining the Ashari was gonna be me branching off into my own thing, doing my own, like following my own path, my own 
you know, what I what I want to do, and I just look. I had a lot of support from him, and a lot of him in my life before coming here. I just wanted to talk to myself and to you know spread my wings. If that'll calm him down at the house. I'll. I'll We'll talk to him. She's gonna look down and open her data pad. Run oh, smiles. Uh, she will. She will lead it. She will. She will give you a kiss on the forehead. I'm gonna try and dodge it. It's not in front of my friends. <laughs> she will. She will smile. She'll look to see the the rest of the guys, <laughs> kind of chilling back there. Just say, okay. I gotta get back to work before my superior starts yelling. So. Good luck, thank right, you. Uh, Ren, are you guys, uh, is someone gonna be here to guard this entrance? Uh, yeah, well, I think some of the Ashari are coming over, some, some, uh, students you might recognize or something or other. Alright, well, alright, let's just, all right, see ya. Alright, bye, love you. Hmm. Lucia, if, 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 if anyone's looking over at her, she just looks very annoyed. And upset, and she is uh, going just going to text him, or re 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 like reply to that, and say, "I'm doing fine, Dexter." And then, then, then that's it, and that's it. That should be enough. And then also say, "Stop bothering Ren about being worried about me. I'll, I'm fine." Isaac, please say reassuring hand on your on your pauldron, on your shoulder shoulder plate. I'm just. Gives you a sympathetic smile. I'm not returning it. I'm just gonna close the data pad and say, Alright, well, we're all done here. Uh, if you guys wanna go and head back to the academy, um, I'm gonna stay here and wait for the... Wait for the students that they're gonna send to guard the entrance to the, to the portals. This place. Alright, do you know what this place is? Did they we, explain that to you? We've been informed there was... Insurgents from Hope Haven that were taking refuge here, mm -hmm. and that there was likely an anomalous portal hidden in one of these warehouses. That's the one behind me. Very and well. The, and the and the assailants from Hope Haven have been done and dealt with. He probably passed them on the way here, being apprehended by the city guard. Oh, I see. I see. You know. You were efficient, like my mother. She was also quite efficient. Nice work. And he will, who he will, is, he will, who, he will clap his shoulder. Who says that? Who says that in a, in a, in a casual conversation? <laughs> you uh, just, you probably, just got here. Like Boris, probably excited. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> besides the portal to the, besides the the portal behind me, um, that building over there is a. Uh, there's no entrance, but there's a, an invisible wall where a CD is. Well, it looks like she goes, huh? Uh, whoa! There is one. <laughs> Intriguing. She'll poke her back out. Heh, <laughs> Norman, look. Norman goes, that's not funny. She frowns. Right, well, uh... We're fascinating feature. <laughs> Right, well, that should be everything. Uh, well, text me or Frame or anyone else or anything from HR if anything happens, and uh, appreciate you guys' uh, hard work. Uh, I'm Tokshan on CD, Isaac. I think we're heading. We should head back out. And he will gesture for one of you to hop on. Uh, well, no. Hi. No. No. <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't leave me with him. <laughs> Uh, you all, uh, good luck and, hey, watch out for phantoms. Uh, I'm prepared. I even have my mother's talismans to ward off any incorporeal spirits. That's well, good. It's good to keep away the phantoms. <laughs> we have them. That is true. Thank you again. Uh, you are Takshan, yes? Oh, yeah, that's me. 
They yeah, say you make meal just as good as babushka. Over to the next time we can partake in a meal together. Play a ball, bring some. When we return. That sounds like a plan. Thank you. I'm in a different place, and basically ruled with an iron fist, uh, until actually being overthrown himself by a righteous warrior chosen by the highest god. Uh, and Lucia, you know that Ajidahaka is uh, one of the offspring of the incarnations of evil uh, Ariman, and Ajidahaka is. <clears throat> one of the more powerful draconic deities out there. Uh, he okay. has a, his sworn enemy um, usually lies on Marduk, but typically some of the rogue celestials uh, also compete with him. Uh, and Ajidahaka is has a tenuous alliance with a demon king known as Asmodeus. <laughs> As well, yes, <laughs> There's some Ashari students out there right now that are keeping an eye out until Fran can get out there, but it's supposedly, from what I could tell, and I'm pretty, I feel pretty confident that I'm right. It's a portal that leads to uh, the pool rooms. Ah, sublimity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fram is much more knowledgeable about, about the inner workings of Limbo and the various countless realms and worlds I think he's currently busy I think you might have a better luck trying to find him uh, and she will kind of look at the watch because I must get get out of here but thank you again all of you for your hard work and dedication to the Ashari Druids um, I'll put in a good word uh, of your efforts and you will see your grades bump up uh, the entire grade letter Not really, though. Oh, that's that's nice. That's, that's good here. You're, you're like the opposite of right now. Samson, are you high? Look at her shake his head. No, like, I mean, why would I be smoking here? Percy, sense motive right now. You go ahead. This motherfucker is gone. <laughs> That should be that we all. That should, be, that should be a plus one. You're certain he does not. He has not been smoking because otherwise you would have picked up on the scent. Going into mm. this, you know what? That's fair. He's like, eh, yeah, he could yeah, be doing awesome. gummies though. Exactly. That's. <laughs> do, do I gleam the gummies or no? <laughs> no, no gummies at all. You were pretty high on the perception check. No okay. gummers. No Man. gummers. Not yet. Sorry. Lighten up, Lulu. We got. We got the rest of the night. I'll send you some. I'll send you it over later tonight. I got some shiny goods though. Some shiny goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you more about it when we get when we get to the dorm. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna comment earlier on how Whoa. I was gonna be like, man, I just love just being able to see through the walls. Dude, dude, what's wrong? Back in these bedrooms. Yo, <laughs> yo, Ishmael's, Ishmael's getting dizzy. Also, it huh? has taken me way too long to realize that Ishmael and Isaac Whoa. are two different people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's wrong, guys? Yo, yo, do we, yo, you, do we hear something? <laughs> Loft! <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait, no, oh, this no. is in character for Loft! Oh, no. Just sniff out the... <laughs> What's a Loft? Do book? I hear anything in the shower? <laughs> no, I think you're too busy vibing in the shower. Dude. Oh, no! <laughs> Did I hear anything before I got in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> you do no. now, you do now. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, just look in to see him full fucking no bare naked. <laughs> he's, he's got a shirt over his crotch. Nice like, cock. Like he's he's holding his shirt and it's like oh, covered. I see. You interrupted those two fornicating. <laughs> you can see you guys see the full on on helmet <laughs> CDO six yeah, shirtless. He's, he's, he's wearing a towel, isn't he? Yeah, he's just, he wearing... just has a towel around his waist. Oh, Jesus Christ. It looks like uh, your brother got busy with his own mission while we were out doing ours. Yeah, God bless. <laughs> well, anyways, stay out of trouble. And don't try and join me in the shower. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, don't. <laughs> it's not even as he's Clayton. Samson. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a whopper for everybody. Wow. And some chicken nuggies, four piece. Well, it's, it's, it's edible, I suppose. He will boot up. Is there a distinct oh. burger baron aroma? <laughs> it's, I don't think it's here yet. It's, not, it's on its way, don't worry. <laughs> Never. <laughs> he goes back. <laughs> uh, Lucy's going to send a message to talk Sean. An in message. What, what? I was gonna say, uh, not like. It, 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 Takshan is going to hear Lucy's he voice in his head, and it's, she's going to say, Samson ordered Burger Baron. You might want to go order something else for yourself. I don't think you're going to want to eat Burger Baron. He, he sends back a mental sigh. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me? You can just want it. Is, is that really? Well, I mean, I can just probably go out and try and find him or something myself. What would be the fun in that? Okay, so... Okay, I beat you, you get that. What do you get if you beat me? Oh, you give me a massage. Uh, sure. Sure, sure, Samson. Alright, alright, don't be too excited. He'll boot up the game. He'll play. He'll play... ...thing to Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna rename her anything, just... Yo, sure. Uh, Samson, I have to preface this, I... I don't, Joshi? Think I don't think I've ever really touched Marius Racer. All right, life. come on, come on. Just, just select a character already. Fine. She picks baby, baby Marius. <laughs> no, not baby Marius. <laughs> there we go. All right, all right. I'll, I'll indulge you. There we go. All right, no. Oh no. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> if I roll a seven. <laughs> Is alright. One more. Yeah, why not, Ace Detective? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he switched his main hand. <gasps> <gasps> Lucia beats Samson pretty deftly. Can I can I say how she beats him? Yeah, she's gonna, he, He's gonna get right to the finish line. She's gonna blue shell him and then just whiz past him. He goes, ah, oh, the blue shell, is such a f anti fun item, man. Yeah, too bad you can't turn items off in this game like you can with uh, uh, uh crash systems. <laughs> oh no, it's oh, it's fine, really. I was thinking of since, well, since we're getting. Uh, I was expecting fast food, but I wasn't ex expecting uh, shit that bad. Yeah, us. Uh, well, um, Sammy's trying to decide what to make here, but he got some <clears throat> thickens. Oh uh, well, uh, if anything, I think uh, you're the one being somewhat tense today. I mean, we're approaching dinner time, and you're still thinking about work. I understand. Uh, well, it's just, well, with, uh, I had a conversation with Sebastian at lunch, and, well, I just had the, uh, when the, the, the idol was mentioned, it, I just brought it back to that conversation, I feel like, and, uh, at least I mentioned it to him, because he's still trying to find a lead on something. Dude, uh, you can let's see. regional, that one, oh, is it a logger? Yeah, it's a little longer. Uh, it's a uh, fuck. What's a what's the equivalent of Guinness? We'll just say Guinness. <laughs> it's just, it's Guinness. Fuck it. Fuck oh, it, Guinness. It's, a, it's like a porter. Yeah. <laughs> Dark, hefty beer. I bet she comes in like the four packs, like like the regular Guinness. And there's just a fuck ton of uh, four packs in yeah, the, yeah, in the yeah. fridge. Yeah, yeah, Like stacked Ooh, up. A Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not with it. I've never had such a beverage. Well, it's good, isn't it? 
I wouldn't oh. know. I've never had it. This, this is I'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> and he'll float on over to Why? his seat. Why? Back... <laughs> That's a guilty pleasure of his. Ugh. Mother would... He would rather be caught dead than uh, have Mother Show see this. She was real against uh, such food. Specifically Burger Baron, or are we talking fast food in general? Specifically Burger Baron. I think she had a fight with the mascot once when we were little, but I can't remember. <laughs> she fought the mascot? Yeah, no, I can't quite remember. I think it was something about me or Samson having food poisoning. And she took that personally. Oh my God. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. <laughs> Wait, a couple... I should say many years ago. We were like, <laughs> like four or five. Uh, they left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> After such vigorous activity. No. <laughs> it's like, hey, Ronald. <laughs> it's been a been a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's essentially how he looks at Luft. <laughs> yeah, that's, as Luft is doing combos on him. <laughs> He's like, Luft, that, let me eat this food real quick, and then, yeah, then you can lay on me, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, thanks, CD. He'll, he'll crunch into it. He goes, mmm. Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'll leave you to your poison. Well, I don't like that guy. After a little bit, <laughs> Isaac will make his way uh, into the door, looking a little tired, but otherwise. You took sure you sure took your uh, sweet old time. What were you doing? Oh, it's just, uh, sorry, I was just looking over, um, looking over the artifact, yeah. Uh, got stopped by, uh, someone who is not exactly working for the Ashari, but she's, uh, she's been interested in helping out. Mm. Okay. How have all of you been? Uh, CDO6, Lucia. Oh, no, it's just been fine. Alright, uh... Oh, he'll kinda, he'll kinda, like, settle into the chair. Peak television. <laughs> he'll say, bye, Lulu. She'll at least wave. Yeah. But then as she, as she, as the door closes, her stomach growls. As it goes, uh, are you okay? You didn't eat? Isaac, I may eat a lot of things. I have quite the appetite, high metabolism. I am not eating Burger Baron. Right, uh, I can order us some, like, cheese sticks and maybe some, like, some, like, small appetizers if you want. Uh, no, it's too late for that. I'm fine. I'll just. I'm not even that hungry. I've got some fruit snacks at my tower if you want to try those. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it, Isaac, but I'm fine, really. All right, and you will, you will plant a, a kiss on your head. Then you'll continue on. So, um, uh, Sarah looks over. She, I'll say she'll like walk over, and she'll say, uh, "What makes you uh, so interested in the subject matter?" Oh, it's well. I've, I think I've just had a uh, beautiful wake-up call during our mission. It was this, uh. Innocent little half hound that had to be, uh, well, technically was undead, so that had to be passed on to the afterlife proper. And, uh, well, maybe it wasn't an actual elemental, but I felt like I could have perhaps bonded it to me, or something like it. So I've been looking into how to form 
Island Bond. So for you. And that'll be... I'll be very nice of you, very kind. I... Well, I'd like, I'd like to actually study it proper. Maybe in the future I could even... Dunno, maybe I could even restore Luft's proper mind. I'm sure she wasn't supposed to be a cat. I think that was just coincidence. There is complications that arise when summoning a creature from its home plane. And those complications can take the form, many which forms. I know that when immortals descend, they often have to take various guises and their power is limited. Perhaps Luft has been given this guise and is lim weaker now than perhaps what she repertoire. was before. Truth be told, I only have access to about, I think, four or five of the twelve, but they only come in the form of beasts, usually in the signs of their zodiacs, but... Well, the one I have meant to be a rooster, but they've ended up as a moth. Ah, oh, I see. That's interesting. But again, I'm only limited by their bestial forms. Although I suppose these are just the limited forms of these greater beings. I'm sure Luft is a great being of her own, we just we just don't know for certain. Certainly. We may be able to find out more later on when we've continued our studies. Perhaps uh Perhaps uh your destinies together uh wasn't one of random circumstance. That's a pleasant thought. I'll think about that. Oh, I'll think I'm done with my studies for today, for tonight. Rest up well. Indeed. Yeah. You too, Linda. Hey, thanks for, thanks for talking with me. I uh, haven't been able to talk with other Ilon bonded people. It's good to know that. There are some rules to this. Don't worry, we're all walking the same path. More than happy to help each other out. Before like, like the night? Mm -hmm. uh, good night. Nah. Good night. Very well. <coughs> uh, uh, I will say... <coughs> is... Was Lucy in the mood for uh, uh, any... Loot activities? Very important question. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I gotta put myself in the mind of Lucia. Because if she is not Isaac, because Isaac was gonna initiate something. If he's actually the one doing it, you know what? Sure, man. There you you never. He, he, he never does shit. You might as well let him have his time to shine. There you go. And thus, you two spend your time together, uh, in intimate, in intimacy, and now. The days will pass as you go from Saturday to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then finally Wednesday. Taps, taps out. He'll let go and he'll say, huh, had nice work, Lulu, but uh, better luck next time. Damn it! <laughs> as, the, as, as the two of you are kind of sweating in the middle of the, uh, the training grounds, and he goes, you almost had me there, I won't lie. That was pretty close, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, whatever. No, no, truth be told, though. I may be talking shit, but, uh... You improved. Definitely a lot better than I thought I... To give you credit. But now okay, here comes the fun part. Like, uh... He'll, he'll sling a sweaty arm around your shoulder. You're sweaty. Don't touch me. This is the uh, this is the smell of victory, of us, I'm afraid. But uh, I've got a few ideas of what you could wear. 
You know, kind of slowly <laughs> drag you along check. into it uh, out, out of this room. Ground. All three of you. Dude, why is the bot jobbing so hard? I know. I should probably change the music now that the more no more. Is there any uh, is there any wars in this history test? <laughs> you, know you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you that. This will be oh, war warfare. Because the because the lesson in today's today's thing is about how uh, Queen Salen, the Roman uh, Empire. <laughs> no. no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, your your handler's gonna handle manhandle you. No, we're rerolling. No! no! <laughs> we're Super never rerolling. Is dead, bro. <laughs> Dude, what do you mean the Nazis didn't win? So you go, that's crazy. Did. You go from an A to a C. You bump yeah. down two green. <laughs> the Holocaust didn't happen, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the Holocaust did this, no. dude, dude, this body's a Holocaust denier. <laughs> no. No. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Why not? He's Why? just been fucking ganja down. He's just like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why not? Let's go with that, yeah. Um, <laughs> I will Samson. say Lucia, yeah, Lucia uh, succeeds, Takshan succeeds, uh, uh, where is, Lucia and Takshan, you go up a grade. Let's go, baby. Still on A, baby, let's go. <laughs> Locked in on religion. I love God! I love God. And CD... Uh, you drop a grade. You're a D. Oh. <laughs> <Trudy> is <laughs> Sir. CD started the, with the highest of highs and is now with the lowest of lows. My grades have literally just been progressively getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Did they Since peak? <laughs> yeah, they peak and then you've been... Next one, guys. <laughs> Biology and nature. Nature checks. Oh, boy. Who would have thunk on. being killed multiple times would have an impact on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, CD, that's not a valid excuse. <laughs> Brain damage is not a valid excuse. <laughs> Lock I cannot <laughs> roll above fucking seven, dude. <laughs> Come on, CD, lock in. That is the highest I've rolled for grades. <laughs> it's fucking five. <laughs> <laughs> the five. Dude, welcome Wait, back, Malik Brown. Guys, remember. We have the opportunity to raise a grade by a single letter. Yep. Uh, with with another gal, uh, by themselves essentially. He, that he isn't trying to fuck. Yeah. As crudely as it is to admit, yeah. Uh, but he he's enjoying. He's enjoying. He's like you know, you guys buy like popcorn and drinks, or are you guys sneaking in food. How good is his stealth? Uh, not good at all. He's okay with buying buying popcorn and drinks. If Lucy was better at stealth, she would try to sneak food in, but no. He offers to buy one, like he, and this is like basically says like we we can share it. What's well, kind of you, Ish Ishmael? Okay. No say it will kind of make up for the fact that you kicked me in the nuts, but okay. Look, I was just really upset. Uh, Yosef, from what's, <laughs> what's Tokshan <Sokshan's laughs> doing <laughs> up until Wednesday? Uh, until Wednesday, I. Hmm. I don't think he would do uh, too much. He, he'd mostly be studying. Uh, uh, more of Eilon bonds, like specific to air elementals and whatnot, and maybe. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it can't happen uh, mechanically yet, but he, he essentially tries to experiment a bit with uh, trying to form Luft into <clears throat> a more complete being, I suppose. Like something more humanoid. Yeah, or something okay. more true to her spirit. Okay, okay. Or humanoid, like, uh, yeah, just uh, trying something different. Instead of cat brain. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the idea that they're probably they probably were 
um, and maybe still are, like a GD, like a, like a straight-up air GD. Um, but, and perhaps their form might change or alter, not necessarily a, a, not necessarily a linear progression, but more of a, <clears throat> a an alternate or their true, either true or alternate form. Luft, Luft's feline form appears to be just like a, like a side effect of being bonded to you, uh, someone who is uh, not as not as uh, strong yet. Um, no. And there's a chance that Luft will change their nature as you get stronger, and they might resemble something more uh, humanoid and genie-like in the future. Alright. And I think that, uh... <clears throat> yeah, Toxin is content with... content with, uh... uh and Luft's... Uh, you, you, you get a lot of this from just, like, like I said, your mental uh, connection with Luft, and also, like, the nature magic the two of you share. Yeah, it's a lot of... I imagine it's a lot of, like, meditating on the fact and uh, he's like trying to spiritually communicate. Just, what are you left? And getting back a bunch of meows. <laughs> mm -hmm. You kind of parse then, through the various meows. True. And some of them start to make sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they try. They almost form words, and you yes. Swear to God, it's there. <laughs> Swear to Salem. <laughs> Focus on academia. Please just study, please. Yeah. You're Dug dumb as rocks. So the Samson guy, this yeah. ganja lord himself. Yeah. He doesn't smoke at all. He doesn't do little off-campus. Oh no, he smokes sessions. a hundred. He, he smokes a lot. Dude, <laughs> what if I just start hanging out with Ganja Boy? He would love that and become part of the Ganja gang. You would also love that. He would introduce you to uh, the Ganja Gang, the, the little temple he goes to. Uh, as, a, as a big, like, smoking lounge. Does CD get involved in that? Yes, CD06 is a bit of a... Bit of a ganja gooner. <laughs> creature. What kind of devious little creature could you think would come out of this scroll? I don't know, bro. Like, we should do it on Wednesday. Oh, I mean. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do something a little mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> Because worse things worse, I could just kill it. So true, bro. And like, or it would kill me, and I would just be back, dude. So true. But I'm like this version of CD so much more. Yeah. <laughs> this body so many really vibes on my wavelength. Insane. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Bro he goes starts laughing. Some you know. good vibrations. <laughs> One of her moth summons. Like he looks like this. Oh, that is adorable. Yeah, their name is Makira. Oh, it's like a silk moth. That's so base. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, th th this this was the first one. Uh, she's gotten when she was like she. This is the very first one she got when she was a a young lass, like around like ten years old, uh, when she was first bonded with these creatures. Bro, which one do you want to summon? Uh, let me do and they gotta be very very careful, cause like once we get one, the other names got gone. Hmm. Let's sit there. And I don't recognize any of these names, right? How good is your religion? Uh, I have a plus two. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid you, none of these really ring or mean anything to you. Hmm. I don't know who any of these are. Are any of these guys like cool? I mean, uh, maybe. Like, maybe they're all cool. Bro. <laughs> Let me take a fat rip and just choose one at random. <laughs> <laughs> because, bro. Awesome. 
This got to go so bad. Do you hear I, Do I hear the cuz he's saying he's saying the, he, he's ripping a fat one. Yeah. Do I hear him rip it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like you right there. You probably see me rip it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If, if, you're, if, if you hear like the just standing here, you hear yeah. like the bubbles fo f like forming and like whatnot, the boiling. Because she was looking at her damage, she's gonna look up, ra like w w raise an eyebrow, look at Takshan, and say, "Takshan, you know what they're doing?" Uh, they're huddling around that scroll, and I just heard, and I can now see CD. Uh, We're being one with nature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think CD06 is just finally being able to relax. I think that's good. And I like, pick a... Yes? Aniel. Adaniel. Alright. Aniel. CD. <laughs> you and your Aniel. stadium okay. oh, of high from the, for the bear of water that you've inhaled from this bong and have kept in your helmet. Sam's just kind of stumbling around. He's got a big old smile. And you go ahead and you re recite. You recite the ancient Hebrew that's written on the text. <laughs> Yahweh. <laughs> oh my god. Salam alaikum. <laughs> that's my Arabic. God. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, Shalom. 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 Mazel Peace. tov. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all the same. And you guys all feel the room get darker. The candles in the fireplace all get weaker as a figure emerges from the light of the fireplace. And you watch as this figure with a large astral constellation hat and a staff that resembles an astrolobe uh, in their right hand <clears throat> as they kind of emerge from the fire. And there is a a small pentagram that is formed on the carpet here. She looks to you, CD, and Samson, and says, Greetings, I am Ananio, one of the leaders of the Watcher Angels. How may I be of assistance? <laughs> what the fuck? Are they here yet? Dude. Oh, bro. I think they're here, bro. Uh, I can't awesome. see anything. Uh, Hold on, uh, I'm gonna take this. That is a fallen angel if I've ever seen one. Uh, which I'm currently am. I am viewing a uh, fallen. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna relax. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> CD's gonna pass her the bong. She's <laughs> gonna <laughs> <laughs> so look at the bong and be like, I appreciate the, <clears throat> the hospitality. Uh, she'll, set it, she'll set it down next to you. I have been summoned for a reason. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. I mean, oh my god. there was a reason, right, Sam? Bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, absolutely not. I have no interests in earthly politics. I, I assure you. You promise? I can make it a pinky promise. Is that make it better? I think so. Oh man. Let me call my handler real quick. <laughs> and she goes, I'm under a time limit, so you have to- I know, it will be really quick, I promise. <laughs> pinky <laughs> promise. <laughs> She could have stand there, hold, like folding her arms. Dude. Okay. 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 okay, okay. I, look. And I know he's it's just not. Gonna take his phone. <laughs> he's just gonna start dialing. <laughs> okay. Look. I know I'm not in any position to like be on either side of this. But... <laughs> what the holy name. Ahab goes. Mazel tov. You know what? We've been kind of low on manpower. I ain't gonna lie. And things have been quite tough out in the frontier. CD, I trust you to make this decision. Make it well. You will be bearing the responsibility, you understand? Yes, sir. 
And if this shit gets back to us, it's your ass that's on the line. You get it? Yes, Thorn. Very what well. is another death, after all? You're damn right. Is there anything else? That'll be all. Fine. Yeah, that is all. I can get back to some billiards. No hang up. Dude. God. So based. What an inspiration. <laughs> I hope to be like him one day. <laughs> <laughs>And she will look over and she'll say, Excellent. Now, I should let you know that you signed it as CD at any point. I could perhaps offer means to stabilize your mind and keep your mind and body intact, but that's something we can explore at a later date. You would do intrigue me, I must admit, an area of knowledge I'm not quite familiar with. And I'm quite familiar with many things, I'm a genius after all. Nonetheless, I do look forward to building up this relationship. Yeah. So, like, are you gonna, like, mail me these powers or whatever in the Fear the Lord, Lord you God. How does this work? You shall serve him and hold fast to him, and by his name you shall swear. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> she looks she was about to close up the contract and you said Amen and she'll be like she'll kinda of like shoot up, shoot a look at your way. And she'll say she's indeed. Just a slight burn. Yeah, like indeed. Amen. And she'll she'll close the contract. And Amen. The, in the name All of the Lord. But she will, she will look to the both of you. The very, very upright, almost smug look. And she'll say, Have a wonderful rest of your day, students of learning of Cloud Spire. And you too. I look forward to meeting you again, CD. As do I. <laughs> He has not slept, it appears. Okay. Alright, so... Bro, he's weeded out, bro. Oh, yeah. Alright, between the two of you, who was the one that decided to, you know, sum summon this uh, demon? I mean... He told me that. Mm-hmm. So why? I mean, why not? Because it's a fucking demon, CD. You don't make packs with demons. That's like the number one rule you learn. I just did. <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> I Why not? Been fuddled. <laughs> because I... making packs with demons always has a negative fucking side, like negative effect. Something bad is going to happen. Why I asked There's always underlining things that happen with these things. He gave me. The, the then so, your superior's yeah. fucking stupid too! Listen, we're fighting a war, okay? <laughs> yeah, and you're choosing to get help from demons. That's not a good look for your fucking country! Listen. Victory must be achieved at all costs. I, I, I can't argue with you. No, I, I can't argue I've given argue my with life you. five times for victory. <laughs> yeah, and how, how goes the war? One one step closer at a time. And now with this power, hopefully several steps. Lucy, Lucy, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Wait, wait. We can't no, we can't, no. qu can't quite leave. Fram will be coming coming to your soon. I was just going to take a step outside of the room, Isaac. And she's going to walk and then close the door behind her. He'll sigh. He'll, he'll go back. <laughs> Five times. Five fucking times. Ooh, he looks over, he goes, long. he looks over, he goes, yo, is Lucia gone? Yeah, she awesome. just left. Awesome. As, as he gets up, Ishmael <laughs> <laughs> looks quite bewildered as well, and basically tells Samson what the point of this was. And Samson 
tells him that he's not quite in the, in the right state of mind with his, uh, with, with the drugs in his system. And Ishmael kind of just shakes his head and he, he basically says, this is your headache, not mine. Uh, oh, to be fair, who, who handed in that skull to begin with? Oh, she's throwing the she's throwing the bong in the, in, in the sink. She's like washing washing a little bit before just going back. Yeah, let's see if they start tweaking. <laughs> Make a wool sink. Oh boy. You're okay. You hold strong. Oh, oh thank God. The high is keeping me steady. <laughs> Samson's getting up. Ishmael will kind of punch him with the arm. He says, don't do that again. Samson's kind of rubbing his arm. He's got like a wry smile still. He's gonna walk away. He's gonna go He's gonna go to the gym. So that God, if, if I didn't... Uh, if I didn't have a mission, I'd be going with him too. <laughs> he might come back. He'd be probably just gonna grab a snack or two. One of Pharaohs help us, uh, help our angels, help banish the hell. Was a damn amen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Isaac will uh, shake right. his head no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna sit down. Look at this. CD's just gonna, like, sink, like, all the way into the chair. You just feel like, like one with the chair. Yeah. He's gonna throw on Coyote News. Coyote News. As his eyes are halfway open and bloodshot to all hell. The, yeah, like oh. the news anchor on Coyote News, uh, 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 uh Cooker Tarlson, is <laughs> currently talking about how immigrants are swarming the capital. <laughs> they need to leave. <laughs> Not Tucker. Come on, Percy, you can't plagiarize real news. Right now. <laughs> Sarah and I are in agreement that. We just have to let Fram give us the mission we can have a thorough discussion about later. If we look too rattled, we'll, he might be... He might look into it, and we can't risk... We might all get in trouble for this. Do you understand? I, I Just try to keep your cool. I understand you're very stressed out right now, but... Put your, tr put your trust in me, and we'll get through this. Fine. Fine. Sure. She's just gonna walk, 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 walk behind him and just kind of go back in. Who closed the door? And I'm just going to sit down here. Who'll sit next to you? Excellent. How about you? How about you talk, Sean? Oh, yeah, he's been waiting. Watching TV. Excellent, excellent. And you, CD, how are you? See, he's just gonna like slowly look over. <laughs> look up a little bit. And then he'll just nod. And then look back at the TV. I see, I see. Well, uh, are all of you ready for your next mission? Yeah. I see you're quite ex quite enthused, all of you. Ah, uh, just excuse excuse us, Professor. It's been, <clears throat> it's been a uh, this is one of those days. Uh, you will be uh, heading just like that one loophole. I understand. That is where Wilfred is, is he not? And that dangerous king of the caverns. They are likely to meet at the Lukewarm Hotel. Okay. Do you, we have directions to it, or you're, we're just going to be mindlessly kind of just searching for it? No, no. Well, you found a portal. Why not use it? Especially because it is one the Ashari have officially taken over for the time being. Right, but does it take us directly to the Lukewarm Hotel? No. We, I, at least I've looked into it. It will be a bit of a quite of a travel, but... You were all ready for adventure, are you not? That is what you all are being trained to do, embark on these grand adventures. We will try to find a route, the best route to the Lukewarm Hotel, but it will require some t 
time and some patience to try to the best access line. Yeah. Hmm. There's something bothering you again. Eh, just a bit, but I'll, I'll get over it. If you say so. You are a leader now, right? Alexander mm -hmm. Hood is an assistant at Hudwold's. You That's must... Right. Let yeah, me finish. Pretty good. Sorry. Let me finish first. I know you're excited, but... You have a responsibility. That being said, I'm not going to place any additional pressure on you. I've already placed enough by giving you the role. You've done an excellent and incredible job with the warehouses, so uh, please a round of applause for Lucio. And you, you see Sarah and uh, everyone else. <laughs> Give it a round. Love's kind of become a wise kind of like in her own way. Clapping the two, but, uh, her two claws together once. This is all something you can handle. And you've already shown that you can handle quite quite a tough series of obstacles. As I said, good, great work on the warehouse mission and finding the two assailants. They have been taken to the the police headquarters station and they've been thoroughly questioned. Of course, they will be undergoing a trial and uh, it's certainly a matter. It's just only a matter of time about what to do with the uh, the Phantom Sister, uh, given that she will likely have to answer to the Soul Society, that whole other thing, of course, but her sister will still need to be put on trial. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to ramble. Is there anything else? I don't have any other questions for you, Professor Fran. Anyone else? I'm pretty clear. Okay. Well, that's everything. See you first thing tomorrow morning. combat d diving program. Uh, our father wasn't a combat diver, but he was part of the mech, mech division. Uh, our grandfather had selected our father as the inheritor of the hotel. But our father never returned. And while we were waiting, um, my uncle David uh, pulled some underhanded tactic and took over the hotel himself. Mm. So, okay, that's why I fucking hate his guts. But I, no, you're, you're valid for that. I imagine. I can imagine the last time you spoke with him or met with him, you tried to fight him. Not exactly a physical fight, but a screaming match. They had some. I had some choice words with him. Right. Who cares if you don't get that? I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure you know it being part of your family of being supposed to be given to you. I'm sure it's dumb not to get it. But, at the end of the day, you're a better man than your uncle is, and you're definitely going to be more important than he will ever be. At least, that's just from what I can gauge from what I've seen from you so far. You know what, for someone who's kicked my nuts in a match before, I appreciate the words you're saying. Hey, I only speak from experience. You've been kicked in the nuts? It hurts for girls too to get kicked down there. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't know. Well, now you do know. But at least he's going to uh, stand up and say, "Just try to. I'll try and do most of the talking. If we do encounter your uncle, and if he tries to taunt you or anything, I'll try and steer him away from further conflict with you." Okay. Think they know better than the Cloud Spire. And if they find out later what happens then? If they find out later, they're just gonna get even more fucking pissed at all of us, and all of us are gonna get expelled. Isaac blinks and says, I think if it poses no issues for all of us now, this appears to be a pact between CDO6 and Nadio exclusively. We should not be given any reason to assume she would try to make any trouble for us. She knows we're in Cloud Spire. She knows there are powerful exorcists here as well. Fram included. She, she wouldn't be as foolish as to try to provoke him. 
That's what I assume from what I understand of Hanania. This is true. Purely on text, I don't I mean, know. My who she wish is would be for us to exterminate the pact, but. Sarah interrupts him and says, But the pact is between him and his patron. There's not much else we can do about it. And CDO6 does not appear to be a troublemaker, not like. What was it? CDO4? Yeah, the old man. At most, he's a blundering fool. And at best, he's. Going on, on the same wavelength as Samson. Okay, I'll do my best to keep an to keep an eye on him and Samson whenever I'm in his vicinity. But sorry, I'm just a little because I don't like any of this. But it, we'll, we'll keep it under wraps for now. Sarah will look and so say it's best to keep this a secret and perhaps we don't need to tell professors but maybe my mother would know best that's something we can worry about afterward right yeah sorry to worry you all don't with my own don't, don't apologize you're looking out for the well-being for all of us it, it only makes sense right okay as I put a lay hand on, on Lucia's shoulder, a reassuring squeeze. Right, well, I'm gonna go on a. Well, what time is it, Percy? It's like five o'clock now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go on a little on a little walk. I'm gonna. Oh, see you guys later. And she's just going to uh. Isaac, uh, Isaac, uh, can I accompany you? By all means, feel free to. Sarah, you can't see. You just wanted some fresh air. It's not a contributing factor. You should not. She'll not. She'll join you. Dangerous tools like that. I want you to make a diplomacy check. Because this this uh, this determines how seriously he takes your words. That will succeed. The DC was 22. He looks over and goes... I love diplomacy. He looks over and goes... He kind of, like, raises his hands, like, Alright, alright. Guilty as charged. I will... Oh, man, I fucked up, didn't I? Well, <clears throat> all in 19, though, it's not like, it's a pretty big fuck up though, I'll, I'll say, right, <laughs> that's not something that you, that's not something you make, that's not a mistake you make, hello. <laughs> <laughs> CD, what are you doing? I'll put a hand. On Samson's back. <laughs> Listen. You gave me a great opportunity. And I appreciate it. But seeing as how everyone doesn't approve of this, you should probably stay away from such things. <laughs> His broski has betrayed him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now that it's kind of settled in and hindsight's kicking in, maybe we shouldn't do this again. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I am absolutely grateful for the powers you have allowed me to achieve. Well, not for my sip, or so I hope. You got all these grand oh. <laughs> things going on, and it all might get to their heads. I'm just trying to find the easiest avenues to try to protect them from wider forces we don't even understand, you know. That is admirable. Uh, uh, it's very admirable, admirable. But, unfortunately, I don't think forces that you don't understand is not gonna help you defend against forces you don't understand. I mean, come on, you're, you're bright, aren't you? You are a detective, after all. I think you can solve these problems with smart. You don't need these deals. You just need to be yourself, Samson. I think that's all the siblings ever want of you.
advice. Um, yeah, no, I'll, uh, I'll think on it. Um, they've gone overboard. They've given them unnecessary stress. I know Lucy is probably be super pissed with me. Uh, but she's chill. She'll, she'll come around to it. Uh, Sarah and Ishmael, they'll probably give me shit for it for a bit. Uh, Sarah, presumably, maybe three to four days. Ishmael, I would probably just take him to a brothel. He'll probably forget about it afterward. Yeah. Um, I'd be surprised if Sarah ever forgives, forgives you for this slight. I, I mean, isn't she literally bonded to four of twelve heaven general? Yeah, I, I know, um, I know she's bonded to them and stuff, but like, I don't know. It's. Uh, I, I don't think there's any buts here, Samson. You are pretty fucked when it comes to your relationship uh, with your sister. I'll be real. Oh man. <laughs> we probably have to prepare uh, for tomorrow, hey? Uh, we're gonna stretch his legs out. Last for true. Cracks beer. It's like 4, right? <laughs> it, it's four like 5.15, 5.30 now. Alright. At that, uh, CD would be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Alright, I'm gonna go on a jog. Do you, <laughs> you wish to join me? I just cracked open some beers. <laughs> You know what? Perfect time to go for a job. Yeah, Work yeah, off the yeah. calories. Yeah, let's go talk, Sean. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, perfect. Don't yeah. worry, guys. We'll do a nice and easy five-mile run. Whoa, whoa, five miles. I mean, that, that sounds like a lot. Like. All right, let's get going. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from here. <laughs> <laughs> taken over by the Ashari in the meantime. On the way there, you do hear that there's some disputes going on between the Ashari and some of the city guards, as we're like, hey, who's really taking over the jurisdiction here? And so far, the Ashari are kind of winning out. They're like, hey, this is our business. We need to take care of it. Regardless, uh, you guys make your way past the uh, lower city past the great walls that protect the shining capital into the rolling hills of the countryside the farms and the windmills with the perched up dragons that are just kind of roosting about just kind of laying and relaxing strengthening the energy of the land before you make your way to the abandoned warehouse itself with Akari, Boris Norfolk and given us information on standby. Hmm. Okay. Well, good luck with whatever you guys are doing, okay? And Samson goes, yeah, yeah. No, she, I heard she was pretty hot, too. Shut up, Samson. Uh, <laughs> she just stops talking. <laughs> and Isaac will <laughs> well, see you approach. I'll pat him on the back. He'll pat you on the back. He goes, Good luck, Brosif. The strength of God flows in you. I don't know about God, but... I appreciate it. Regardless, Godspeed. And good luck, soldier. Also, you too. Stay also safe. Watch to use. <laughs> As Samson will, will turn around, he will make his way. Good morning. Are you all ready? As ready as we'll ever be. CDO6, get back here. What's up? <laughs> We're not gonna enter chest yet. Fram, is there anything we need to know? Hmm. I have. One sending stone I can relinquish onto one of you. Who would like to carry the sending stone? I can carry it. Very well. This is a very expensive piece of magical power. Losing it will be like losing ten castles worth. Do you understand? I understand. Very well. I bear yeah, you I'll this immense responsibility. Happens, yet. I send it. He'll hand you the sending stone. Come to the poor rooms and. 
I guess, save us if something bad happens. Save you? Mm? Do you expect something bad to happen? No, you're just giving me the savings and I was posing a hypothetical. The hypothetical shall not come to pass. I expect great victory from all of you. Alright. Lucy of Ethia. come to pass, then why are you giving it to us? For communication, to inform me of your updates. I do not expect much bad news your way. Only positive. You've done great so far on your first mission as leader, and all of you following her. I expect it to continue this way. I will see you all inside if you must say your goodbyes before venturing in. Okay. So we'll go over. Uh, go go over to. Sarah. All right. Well, Sarah, keep an eye on, keep an eye on Isaac and Samson. Make sure Samson doesn't do anything too dubious. Samson's already like talking to like, like Uma, like the Bat Girl, uh, off in the distance. She kind of rolls her eyes. She goes, ah, "I'm always watching out for him. Nothing new, but uh, All right. you." Good luck, leader. <laughs> right, thank you. So, sure. go to Isaac. Sarah, so, Sarah leave. gets the signal. She will slowly make Thought I would be able to say goodbye and just travel to another mission right, as well. would be, but I don't know why I feel this way now. Isaac, that's called love. You, <laughs> you idiot. I know, I know, shit. I should really explain it better. It's it's a new feeling. You'll, you'll miss me, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. I miss you a lot. Well, it just means next time we see each other, which should just be in like a day or so, you'll have a lot of luck to give me, right? Yes, of course. Right, and she'll give him a she'll give him another another kiss on the lips and say, All right. And go get him, okay? Stay safe, alright? You as well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk over. What's Ishmael do? Oh, shit. Alright, Fram, so does we just jump in? Not quite. Well, actually, yes, you do just jump in, but remember one thing. How, how good is everyone at school? Um, I don't have swim speed, if that's what you're asking. What is a swim speed? <laughs> I'm pretty Wait. terrible. I'll see. Have I'll any of you equipped the underwater rock no. <laughs> From what I know about the poor rooms, Professor Fram, they shouldn't get any higher than our ankles. Is that going to be pose too much of an issue? There may be long sections of watery travel. If you have any spells or scrolls of such, you may be able to find a merchant down there as well. Who knows what sort of odd, quirky, mercantile individuals you may encounter in such a, in such an infinite landscape. Regardless. Percy, did, Percy, did we get paid? Oh yeah, you guys all could have gotten 250 gold. Uh, I don't know. Yeah! I forgot to mention. Hold oh, you don't me. oh. Uh, Taxi, you can just hold on to me. I'll be sure. I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough to hold you through. Otherwise, I can use force left to evolve for a short period. I'm sure she's fine with it. Very well. Uh, I'm trying to think. If you find any human, I'm sorry, Loft. If you find any humanoids down there, they will likely be part of the major explorer group, also known as the Meg. They will likely be seen in various uniforms, likely a hazmat suit, but they usually have a, a winged emblem on them. They are friendly. However, I cannot say the same for any other wanderers that might be down there. Some of them are various factions. There's a bit of... Uh, <clears throat> there's been a bit of a, a raiding issue lately, but no hostile monsters. Last time we speak to each other. For now. Way to make, oh. a, way to make a sound not ominous, Professor. But, Please no, I think we... Scary, scary things. I think we're all good. Very well.
All right. In the name of Aramir and Salen, I wish you all best of fortunes. May the Twilight King and the Twilight Queen guide your path. And he will gesture you all to jump into the pool. Feet first. Seize the day. <laughs> yeah, you guys just all sink. And as you begin, so as you all dive in, you begin to make your way. You, f- you kind of dive in and you kind of settle at the top of these stairs before <gasps> kind of emerging <sighs> and kind of taking an inhale as we are now feeling fresh air and the distinct smell of chlorine that you can hear a bit of the water kind of smacking against the tiles and the spire and as you make your way down the stairs kind of look around and see nothing but water across this about 30 foot a 30 meter by 30 meter room as Ishmael kind of looks around what do you all have to do or say? Is everyone okay? Besides just being a bit wet? What? That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know the exact chances of that, but uh, it's pretty it's unlucky. A, I think it might be a Is hunter. <laughs> According to my calculations, <laughs> that would be about a 1 in 400 chance. <laughs> <laughs> not the now. I want to do it now. Pretty used as a dude. That is so unfortunate. Woman. They're a woman? I just assume. I couldn't really tell from the pictures, but yeah. I saw the assume, Ishmael. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Look where it goes. It's not that big of a deal. No, but. I mean. From what they said, this water is good medicinal properties. All of my, uh, I don't know, I feel a lot more uh, relaxed. Less tense, uh, from uh, yesterday and going into today. I don't know. Speak for yourself, I'm having to shivers. <laughs> hey, really? I don't like this place. It's like the least natural thing I've ever seen. It's... Well, luckily for you, we're not going to be in here for too long, hopefully. You so you know the, the two languages. The two, yeah, two. Uh, I can speak to trees. You know, awesome. if I didn't know you, Takshan, you would have sounded like a total hippie. I mean, that's not, that's not a hyperbole, I... No, I know, I know. It's just... The way you enunciated that, followed by the words, you know, n- never mind. True, I... but Takshan is also vibe to him. Oh, really? And he scratches his nose. <laughs> yeah, peace, love, man. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> He'll flick your nose. That cow! Don't flick me, I'm gonna fall into the water. No, no, the water. I don't want to get any more wet than I already am, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you don't. Wet tension. <laughs> wet tension. Wow. I'm feeling the opposite of that, actually. Yeah, the water's very soothing. <laughs> Love to grease, I think. Good. But yeah, no, uh, <clears throat> keep your heads up. I'll let you all know where. And when we enter familiar territory, I'll let you all know. But in the meantime, let's press on. All right. And so, as all of you, members of the Dusk Dusters and Ishmael Rain, continue to travel through the long tunnel northward in level 37, Sublimity, the pool rooms, looking to find the lukewarm hotel and apprehend the criminal betrayer of Hope Haven, Wilfred Ryder. That is where we'll end tonight's session.